This video is designed to show you how to upgrade the firmware of a CL-type inverter, whether you are in a commissioning or maintenance phase. Once in front of the inverter, grab your USB drive preloaded with the latest version of firmware update. To perform this update, you need to power your inverter AC or DC. Note that in DC, a minimum voltage of 200 volts is necessary, as it is in the case here in our lab. Note that in the case of commissioning, the front cover of the wiring box should be already removed. In the case of maintenance, you'll have to remove the panel maintained by six hexagonal screws. This, like all those that follow, will be made by the competent staff with safety equipment as required by the legislation of the country where the installation takes place. Once a screwed panel, Remove it simply to access the wiring box of the CL. Your inverter not being turned on, you can then insert your key into the USB port on the top of the wiring box. If it is an initial commissioning, you can then proceed to start the inverter supplying the AC or DC. Automatically, it will proceed to decode the information contained in the key. Then, the data will be extracted to be loaded. This phase takes several minutes. Finally, once all data transferred, the device will boot automatically. Overall, these operations have not taken more than 8 minutes. Once again, the boot operation you can remove without damaging the key from its USB port. In case of an update during a maintenance operation, the USB key can be inserted while the inverter is in service. Follow simply the on-screen instruction to complete the update. It's over. Now, you only have to put the cover back on to complete the update and have a fully operational unit.